for breakfast we are having oats and I'm gonna add some bananas to it. I like mangoes too, so I'm gonna add some mangoes on mine and bananas for my daughter. This is for me. Alright. And this is our breakfast. It's a uh, flavored oats with cranberry and almonds and I just added some fruits, banana, and mine has the mango. Violet doesn't like mango so she only is getting the banana. Making corned beef cabbage. Mmm, yummy. What kind of food is that? Is that like Irish food? Yeah. I remember eating them from a... Uh, Irish res restaurant, one of your favorite Irish restaurants. Oh, lots of carrots, and this yeah, is the carrots meat. Carrots aren't part of it normally, but by like some sort of mm. cream in there. That's fine. Oh, look at the meat, it looks good. It's marinated too. Yeah. Hi, friends. So this is the second day of isolation. Isolation means not going in public, not taking public transportation, avoiding small gatherings or events, even yung going muna sa mga, may mga mataang lugar like stores. Uh, by the way, today I have received an email from some of my favorite retail store and uh, announcing and letting us know that they are closing. So I'm guessing na ang malls ay close, and I heard some of the bars too and restaurants are closing as well. We are planning to take a walk later in this afternoon and kapag hindi na umulan, it's been raining a lot here in San Diego guys. So hopefully mamaya we can breathe some fresh air naman. I just found it so that's why it's good talaga na we disinfect, uh, punasan mga dapat punasan. And you know all this, wash your hands when you get the chance, when you get home, wash it right away. And um, kapag nasa labas naman, alcohol, sanitize, ayun. And iwasan nga yung mga matataong lugar. So, so today I'm gonna be cleaning and organizing our fridge today. Here it is, a corned beef cabbage. And they are painting. I don't smell the paint, so I think it's non-toxic, right? <laughs> And washable. Cleaning out some orange I got there. Oh Put no! There. I know. I'll fix oh it. no. Oh that is so cute. Papa's making Easter egg. And are you gonna be making a bunny? I can see a bunny ear. Yeah. And I'm gonna make it activities. Cool. Please don't show my face. I won't. <laughs> Alright. So here is our fridge and I'm going to do a fridge tour. And I'd like to share how I organize our fridge, the system that I use, the system that functions for us. I'm about to open the fridge now. And as you can see, everything has its own place. Everything has its designated area. So yeah, as you can see, I label it, put labels. And I have this system for two years now. The only time that it's not working is when we have like parties or events at home that we have to buy book foods or drinks, then the fridge will be full. So that's the only time that it's kind of like messed up. But most of the time, since I have a shopping list, I want to make sure that we only got everything that we need and nothing will be wasted. So let's start at the very top shelf. So here uh, we put the drinks. As you can see, we have some like, we have vitamin zero here. This grape juice and this one is empty, but this is where we put 
the canned soda so this is like a dispenser and we have the eggs here too in each of the shelf at the very end of the shelf I put this baking soda so that it will absorb any odor or it will keep it clean and fresh and what else do we have so in this section we have the snacks and so here we have these fruits um, this applesauce for violet and boiled eggs what else do we have here? oh this apple just some healthy snacks mostly fruits <laughs> and vegetables and some muffin that i made the other day oh actually the, the muffin that i made yesterday that was yesterday <laughs> then let's move on to this area so this area is for leftovers and then so that's why i have it here this is a leftover so it's kind of mixed up because this is where i put the big bottles of drinks too and i have these two extra bottles i use this to transfer the remaining um drinks the remaining juice from the big bottle and so to save some space this one is an apple juice from Big Bottle from Costco. So yeah, I transport it here and save some space. And I like this bin, this container, because you can just easily slide it out and grab the drink that you need and push it back. We have these two mason jars. So I like prepping some of the vegetables like some of the vegetables that I mostly use like this bell pepper and onion I chop them and put them in a mason jar I like mason jar because it's kind of preserve the vegetable so we wanted to get a extra gallon of milk because of this pandemic thing that is going on and that's how we have an extra milk and that one expires in another month so let's move on to this side so this side um i have another bin that i put here and this one is for meat thawing so i kind of wanted to separate the meat that i want to thaw and use the next day so yeah i separate them to avoid cross contamination and um in these two drawers we have this one we have the vegetables try to like get more vegetable but unfortunately the grocery right now are empty everything is empty we have bell pepper here and lemon and some tomatoes and cabbage and ginger and this drawer has the fruits so yeah we have the guava here some strawberries oranges apple pear yep so i washed this too already and i put them in a ziploc so they're ready to eat and this is where i keep the cheese different kind of cheeses and uh, bacon the meat where is the salami somewhere there <laughs> right there okay it's here hot dogs so yeah that's where i keep them and let's go to the side of the fridge this is where i keep the dairy products like butter cheese the cream cheese um and below is the Below is violet juice and this side this is where we keep the refrigerated medicine like this one it's for nasal spray that's for John so yeah I don't want to mix it up with other ones <laughs> anyway so um, here more drinks and uh, my creamer and this one too whipped cream 
some condiments, some maple syrup, some calamansi, of course, <laughs> some ketchup, and here is the garlic. So we have extra, extra area here. This is where I put the dressings, like salad dressings, but we're out right now. And yeah, so here, if you notice, I use this lining. This is a placemat, and I got them from Dollar Tree. They're they are only a dollar. I like putting placemat here because it's easy. It's very easy to clean. Take it out, wipe it, or replace it. So and then I like that it has a different design and color. So it gives kind of like different look in the fridge so let's move on to the freezer here it is so here are the meats um, we have the beef on this side and chicken pork so what we do is we buy them in bulk and I separate them like this one we bought them in bulk I think from Costco and I separate them using ziplocs so yeah so this is the sliding bean right here it's kind of full as you can see so I use these two freezer bins I bought this two freezer bin it, it is meant to use in the freezer only because if you use different kind of bins, it might break. This is where I put these snacks like ice cream as you can see. Like ice cream, ice pops, and uh, smoothies. And this top sliding shelf is where I put the pre-cooked. So here we have the noodles. This is my favorite shrimp fried rice, so it's very easy to cook. It's microwavable. If I don't have time to cook, then I'll just grab it and heat it up. And um, we have here more fried rice. And on this side is where I put the the ice packs. This one is I put it on my face when I'm like feeling hot. Pag naiinitan yung mukha ko and or nausukan and tired, I wear this mask. <laughs> I wash them so before I put it back too. And um, what else do we have here? Frozen vegetables, broccoli, and more frozen vegetables. This is a patty. Okay. Burgers, shrimp, tater tots. I like the shrimp. You know what? I'm kind of hungry, so I might cook this now. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we have in the fridge. And, and as you can see outside, I do not like to put a lot of magnets or anything. I don't want to stick anything on... <laughs> on the on our fridge except this two this is a shopping list so if we're out of whatever food and we notice that we're out of it then we just mark it here and then when it's time for shopping i'll just peel it off and take it with me so this one is um where i put the pen and some sticky lunch note for my daughter so that's the end of it and thank you for watching guys and I hope you like and enjoy this kind of video.